Hi and welcome to Fettle Bank Let's Talk. All that glitters is gold. Here we are at the Bhima showroom and with us the vivacious and charming Mrs. Gayatri Suhas and her strong man, the wonderful Mr. Suhas Rao, managing partners of Bhima. Come, let's talk. has been around for the last 85 years you know that it itself is quite an achievement you know innum swarna vaangikana nu parayumbo ende ammumme aayalum ende amme aayalum aadiyam bhima right engena ani ee vishwasam ee vishwasathinte paramparyam how do you still keep it alive okay uh, can i answer that yeah. okay <laughs> uh, we've always right from uh, i think the beginning we've stuck to the quality our byword is bima gold pure, pure gold, gold. Yeah. it has remained the same all these years 86 mm. years it has remained the same mm. so i think at some point uh, the woman will identify with quality even relationships we are stressing <laughs> on that now purity is our byword okay. so i'm i'm sure even i'm a, a sucker for purity so why not <laughs> <laughs> so this is the third generation uh, if right. i yes means this is the we are in the third generation actually mm. this uh, bima was started mr bima butter the flagship store was in alpi right. it was a british rule and the port was in uh, alpi. alpi and uh, all these laborers they used to get gold coins at that time uh, in, so nice. in, in 1995 very nice i know yeah, <laughs> they used to get the, all their uh, this thing for mm. uh, head loaders uh, everything they used to get all their this thing in gold coins mm. and nobody knew what to do with these gold coins mm. because uh, only ashwaris they used to come home and they used to do the gold mm. but there was no as such a retail store in uh, kerala so mm. Bima was the first retail store to start in Alpi in 1925. Why, yeah, he started with a small silver uh, colossal. He he started mm -hmm. with his wife's colossal. And later on, he uh, did a gold retailing shop. So mm -hmm. he used to take the gold coin from the uh, Alpi people, and he used to give back the same gold. This thing, that purity, this thing, ornaments. Mm -hmm. So that purity from that time itself. we have yeah we got uh, like she said uh, we got the we got stuck to the label <laughs> pure gold okay. so that's all pima has always been a trend setter in the kind of uh, ornaments that you bring about your collections uh, how is it that you do that and how do you face your competition how do you deal with competition okay deal with uh, competition say we don't veer from purity our rates are based on that um, and somehow we've always been at the top yeah we have very good collections we all travel everywhere and we guy buy good collections we bring good collections and we all everything we write from 2 grams 1 gram everything is hallmark dear hallmark means the purity we maintain the purity and we have a good stock here showroom also very good stock we have in all our bima showrooms we have good stock good collection good service so i think that keeps us that on keeps, top uh, it keeps us on top and, and plus uh, i think the trend like he said because we travel a lot we see a lot of uh, we get jewelry the best from everywhere, everywhere. And bring it some of it works here some of it does not we take a call on that hmm. so oh. we are able to bring a lot of new innovations also within the showroom oh. i believe there was a ritu collection mm. that was uh, unveiled shortly what is it uh, that was based on nature nature based uh, Uh, designs actually. seasons yeah, yeah. Um, we had uh, a lot of uh, peacock motifs mangoes anything that you find in nature so we called it ritu hmm. yeah. namaste real cuz it's a never ending love affair with uh, gold we're so <laughs> glad about it <that. laughs> <laughs> no i i don't generally use much of gold pashe ivide vanna kaniya ipudekey no adu kollam idu kollam it's always there i think for every woman yeah. so what is your uh, personal jewelry collection like uh, you mean what kind i like yeah what you wear what's your collection okay. like um i love diamonds hmm. um i love i absolutely love antiques and he loves buying it for me i like to think so <laughs> <laughs> antiques are i don't know an all time favorite i think every girl should have one it's like your uh, little black dress and your lipstick you <laughs> must have an antique piece okay. so i have a, a good collection of antiques diamonds i like okay. i'm wearing them actually yeah 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 itre varsha thore paramparyam you know adinatha orchu ninnu kondu thane how do you see the future what are your plans it's uh, shining a bright like the goal uh, that you yes. give <laughs> <laughs> we are a growing company and uh, we've always been like that hmm. we have been pioneers in the market and we want to be we've hmm. not yet reached the multinational level yet but you have an export uh, market i believe yes we do 
Yeah, yeah we, we have export that. market. And we want to like slowly, uh, we started from Kerala, now mm -hmm. we, we are more into You've Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh also. How has the uh, reception been in these places? It's been very encouraging. encouraging. It's yeah. very good. Okay. So, uh, we plan to take it on a more global level mm -hmm. and uh, consumerism is really booming now. Mm -hmm. So, I'm sure everybody has a place. I'm not mm -hmm. saying only we are going to rise. Mm -hmm. We will mm -hmm. rise mm -hmm. and there will be healthy competition and we are mm -hmm. all set. And uh, you're talking about the export market. What, uh, which are the countries that you export to? Mainly, we export to US and the Middle East. And what's the, the kind of jewelry that? No, this is a, basically traditional uh, jewelry. Traditional, so, traditional jewelry. jewelry, and traditional it's for the Indian uh, consumers only. Okay, like that is what. We export to the Middle East and US. Now, actually, recession, so not much, but Middle East is still. Uh, and are there any that. plans to diversify? Because in the sense, you know, you you have a lot of jewelers moving into textiles, uh, tourism. Does Bhima have any such We uh, do, plans? but we're not telling. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so we'll keep waiting. <laughs> yes, please do. <laughs> we do have a textile, uh, this thing, our, our plate in uh, Middle East. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So okay. We have two, three branches, but it's not a, well, no, it's a small diversification we have done. And mm. slowly. So to bring it to yeah, uh, yeah. India also. Yeah. No, no, no mainly no, we're doing in Middle East only. Yeah. With uh, gold prices soaring, do you think there has been a fall in demand for gold? I don't think there has been a decrease in weddings happening. There are still anniversaries, birthdays. Girls still love gold. As a uh, yeah. managing partner of the firm, what role do you play? Okay, I'm more into HR actually. Okay. Uh, the product, I've been working with uh, Papa, I think, after my college. Mm -hmm. uh, so, this is something that keeps changing over time. And I realized over the years, I realized... Was there, um, can I, can I interrupt yeah, you? Was there yes, any... Did that thought anyway strike you that probably I shouldn't be in this business? I not, at be, not at all. Not at all. It's always all. there. I, I don't think there is any girl who doesn't love jewellery. <laughs> so, um, the, the glamour of it attracted me. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I looked at all, all the nitty gritty, the production bit. It's not as glamorous uh, as it looks Behind, on the outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of hard work, mm -hmm. a lot of perseverance. Um, mm -hmm. There are times when you get frustrated, things don't go your way, the market doesn't respond in a good mm -hmm. way, whatever. But then I realized uh, HR is something I'm I'm really good at. Uh, I like to think I'm good with people. So I realized that in a very short time. Yes, <laughs> you're a smart one. <laughs> uh, yeah. So and the administration, because we have uh, many branches, the administration, um, it needs a different overview now. It's mm -hmm. not like before when you just gave instructions and they were carried out. Mm -hmm. People need to feel motivated to work for you, and they need to be loyal to the brand so mm -hmm. we are looking at HR from a different perspective. Yeah, that brings me to you know the staff that you have at your yeah. showrooms. What I like about the Bhima staff is that they are not in your face marketing. No, no That's no. really nice because yeah. when you come to a Bhima showroom they look at the customer they they understand your taste I don't know how they do it. Yeah. So how is it that you get them to mm -hmm. do that? Uh, like you said we we are not for aggressive uh, marketing. Yeah. We are not for that. Mm -hmm. Um, especially when uh, when you have a marriage customer walking in, the girl is unsure. She knows what she wants, mm -hmm. but she's probably going through a very happy, nervous time. Mm -hmm. So we let them be. Mm -hmm. I think we we train our uh, sales mm -hmm. staff to understand the customer right. and then uh, right. react accordingly. The mm -hmm. father may be a little uh, edgy, the mother may be nervous, the girl may be happy. <laughs> See, so you're okay. dealing with different right. mindsets right. here. Right. So we right. train our staff accordingly. Mm -hmm. to I'm very sensitive. And that is really seen on the field, you know, the training that you do. What is your role in the day to day uh, running of the firm? I am uh, more of a back office guy. So I look into. <laughs> He's a good guy though. <laughs> <laughs> I look into administration and mm. uh, there's a market. We have to book the gold, gold. we buy from the banks mm. and a lot of payments and um, mainly. Yeah, the production, production, yeah. Is where you Inventory pay and uh, uh, this thing. Pay, okay. Yeah, okay. advertisement and uh, those yeah. things I take care. What would a typical day in the life of Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Suhas look like? You want to answer? Or yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we get up in the morning, rush through the household shows. We have two little girls, we send them okay. off to school. What are their names? How Navya, are yeah, Navya is in the ninth standard. Okay. Mania, the younger one, is in the fourth standard. Okay. And uh, so we send them off to school, finish up our housework. Mm -hmm. And then it's business. <laughs> <laughs> we come to the office by about 10 15. Yeah, because market yeah. Uh, opens by 9 9 30, uh, especially. So the rate has to be fixed in the morning. morning yeah. so from then onwards, like there's mm -hmm. a market going up and down. You have to book. That is my duty. Mm -hmm. And she takes care of 
we have uh, yeah uh, we have different uh, see i look into the um, everything right from the marketing mm. uh, how the compliments are doing how uh, the marriage i mean the staff uh, you know what are the feedbacks there so we have different meetings scheduled with different teams every day okay. so that starts once we are in the office okay by 11:30 12 i think we are done with the meetings and then uh, then it is a different set of uh, chores for us and for him okay. so i'm back home by 3 he comes home when um, by about 10:30 yeah, yeah 10:30 uh, i know not very happy with that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so other than business what are your other interests okay You say. Uh, other than business, my main interest is listening to music. Okay. I like music. What kind of music do you listen to? I like to any kind of music, classical or uh, western or okay. Hindi music. Even old uh, Hindi songs I like very much. Okay. Music and traveling also I like yeah. traveling much. We travel a lot quite a actually, lot. quite a lot. Mm-hmm. And of course, making money also I like. <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what about you? Uh, I like reading. I love traveling with him. He's fun to be with. He only looks serious. <laughs> uh, with our little girls, we travel quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, I enjoy partying also. Okay. We like to catch up with friends once in a while, and uh, okay. we do that. Okay. Reading a lot. Okay. Movies, good movies. We like to watch. And you are into designing also, I believe. Yes, I do, but it's not it's not a part of my job. I do it when I feel like it. It's not like I take orders and do it. Mm-hmm. When I really feel motivated to do it, maybe for me, my girls, my mm-hmm. sisters, maybe mm-hmm. I do that. I see if I take that up as a job, I cannot do anything else. And that becomes a full time yes. uh, engagement. Yes, and I'm not a trained technical uh, yeah. designer, so I do what I feel. It's your like. inherent passion for that, the, something like that. That, that keeps yeah. you going. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. More or less, that's it. Because ours is a six-day working I day. I know you have a very hectic uh, yeah. schedule. Yeah, so Sundays are off, and Sundays normally we spend at home with the children. So, so you're like talking about your hectic schedule, your uh, job, and all. How is it that you manage to find time for the family and for uh, each other? Family, children. We make sure that we spend with them. We have uh, one meal per day. That lunch, we have all four of us together. So together. Even I go home for lunch. Okay. So we go so back have, by three and yeah, we have, have a food day, together. Yeah. And whenever there is a holiday, we try to escape. We four of us we go traveling somewhere. Yeah, okay. Maybe yeah. near near places also somewhere. Mm-hmm. So that way we have quality time four of us like together. Okay. So where have you studied? Were you into designing or this was this the field that you were into initially? Uh, no, basically I come from a business family, but I studied engineering. So after I got married, I moved to Andhra. So it's a glamorous business. So yeah. how is how has life changed post marriage? Uh, if I think I have become more serious after marriage. Oh, <laughs> I don't think so. I've brought a lot of glamour to his life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. believe me. <laughs> <laughs> and with the kids and uh, more responsibility, and uh, I think there are around thousand families are working for Bima. Like directly, we employ thousand, and indirectly, we have so many families. So Dependent. So yeah, you are uh, like. you have so much of uh, responsibility, responsibility on your shoulder we want them to give good like good life also like they should be satisfied and happy mm-hmm. so i think life has changed very much and uh, like become more mature and he grew up yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> what about you uh, i'm a lot happier see with the, uh, initially till he came along my father was my hero mm-hmm. it's him now mm. so <laughs> <laughs> he he lets you be uh okay. and he see if if you're happy in your marriage only i think you can uh, perform well career wise if, if your you always, foundations are yes uh, i have nothing to worry about mm-hmm. uh, at home there are no pressures at all from him mm-hmm. so i'm able to do justice and i want to do uh, good here and at home because i'm not pushed as a woman i think if there are pressures everywhere there are work pressures yes mm-hmm. but that's different mm-hmm. if there are there's, if there's pressure at home yeah. i don't think the right. best will come out right. So that way he's really good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the man behind this, uh, Mr. Govindan. Now, what? Of course, he's your father, your father-in-law. Apart from that, uh, what role has he played in inspiring you to give your best to the job that you do? I think for me, uh, he has a wonderful vision for the company. He says, "Okay, we have to take it this far. These things we will do. These things we will not do." He very firmly he has set it down. A, a good decision maker. He's a very good decision maker. and um, 
for him there are no compromises. Uh, you have to do your best. How can you not? Is how he asks. <laughs> if you're here and you take personal calls, it is just not done. Mm -hmm. So none of our people, staff here, are allowed to use their mobiles within. Even he only takes business calls here. Okay. So uh, I think the the good good thing about that is you're hundred percent focused when you're in the office. Mm -hmm. He somehow I don't know around him because he is a workaholic. You end up working like yeah. him with him. So that that's wonderful. Gets yeah. Passed on. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Amazing yeah. energy. Even I agree, like, uh, he's a very hard working guy. Even on Sundays, though we relax on Sundays, he's still, Sundays also he has some association meetings, meetings and everything. I think seven days, 24 into 7 mm -hmm. maybe. Uh, yeah. He works this thing. So that inspired me actually. So. Does he, as a grandparent, yeah. does he pass on his vision to your children? He does say actually. He says, he tells my daughters, you must, uh, you know, take charge of the company. This is what we do. Hmm. Uh, we've brought this uh, new uh, thing in the showroom. This is a new. He keeps telling them. He in, involves in, them. Yes, in and in a language happening. that they would understand. He doesn't give them figures and facts. Right. He tells them in a way that the girl wants to come and connect see. with them. Yeah. They would want to be a part of. Exactly. Now we have meetings, family meetings also, one, yes. once in a while. So we all, even kids, small kids are included in that. So that they, they know, know itself, they'll uh, learn the business. Means if they're interested, we don't hmm. force them. Like as a family business, we can take it further. Yeah. And we do bring our girls uh, to the showroom to see the work culture. They want to be a part of it. Hmm. So I think that is, that in little ways, little small ways like that, I think that's how you can sort of inspire them to be part of this uh, empire. Right. Right. What uh, keeps you going or rather what is it that motivates you, you know, beyond all this? Is there, is it God, is it your faith in something that is beyond the things that we see every day. Yeah, yeah, definitely because I'm a firm believer uh, in God, God. and uh, every day I pray religiously and we very go very often we go to temple and everything. So I think by the God's grace only, grace only all these things can happen. Uh, of course, our input and our this thing 100% are there, but even the, the God's grace only, but I'm a firm believer. So definitely by God's grace we are doing good. And mm, I think it should be good in future also. What about you? Definitely I believe in God. I also believe in uh, goodness of people, mm. uh, power of man also. There mm. is good and bad in everybody. Mm. I think that goodness has amazing power, mm. just like the evil has. Mm. So I, I somehow pray to God that the goodness comes out more. Okay. So that's what I tell my girls also. If you see goodness, that is why all our staff, we teach them Namaste. Mm. That actually in Hinduism means Bowing to the goodness in you. Okay. So that is our company policy also. I'm a firm believer, yes. I have a rapid fire round here. Good. Oh, exciting. <laughs> <laughs> quick answers to quick questions. So I have a set of 10 questions. Okay. Right? Yes. Okay. Ready? Always. Yeah. One word that best describes you. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> what would set your pulse racing? Um, money and him. Not in that order. Not in that order though. <laughs> the food that, that would break your strictest diet? Chocolates. Mm. They're a sin. Yeah. <laughs> what gives you the most happiness at work? At work? At work. Uh, a design I make is appreciated by a customer. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. okay. Your birthday? December 5th. What switches you off? When I say I know poverty, extreme poverty, Hungry children, okay. that really bothers me. Yes. Okay. As a person, what brings you most happiness? As a person? My children, they give me the absolute uh, joy. Yes. Okay. Okay. My world, no, what are the first words that would come to your mind when I say My these? children, my husband, hmm. our holidays together, my okay. world. Yes. Okay. Okay. Words of advice to your daughters? Be good. Whatever that is, um, the definition of good is different for different people. Um, so I tell them what you, whatever you do, you should feel good about it. Have no regrets. Okay, okay. On a scale of one to ten, ten being the highest, how would you rate him on certain targets? Oh, he's ten. He's <laughs> ten point five. <laughs> Honesty. <laughs> yes, always. <laughs> okay. So as a husband, how would you rate? Oh, you said ten on every every yeah. count. Yeah. Okay. So, he's he's good most of the time. <laughs> Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So I think it's yeah. your okay. turn. Same set of questions, so that makes it easier. Yeah. Uh, one word that best describes you? Like happy, maybe. 
Yeah. Perfect match. <laughs> <laughs> what would set your pulse racing? Money. Yeah, I'm sure. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the food that would break your strictest diet. No, I, I don't, don't believe. I don't believe in diet. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's a foodie. Yeah, I'm so a foodie. Everything. I'm an Aquarian, so I'm a foodie definitely. Oh, okay. <laughs> what gives you the most happiness at work? Uh, seeing my showroom with a lot of customers yes. and yes. Yeah, happy people because marriage is a happy occasion. Mm. So seeing my customers happy, I think. Okay. Yeah. Your birthday? Third Feb. Okay. What switches you off? I'm a little moody person, so sometimes I switch off myself. And okay. go into the, this thing, but I bounce back. Like, yeah. I, I'm sure he doesn't know either. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't happen every time. But yeah, sometimes okay. I do. I'm okay. a likely a moody person. Okay. What brings you most happiness uh, as a person? My family, my wife, and my kids. They bring happiness to me. So I want them to be happy always. Even my staff also. My world. What is your world? My world is uh, Bima. So this oh. is my home. So. <laughs> I like to be here, I'm working always. Okay, good. Words of advice to your daughters? Be good, be a good human being, be yourself always. Okay. Don't try to copy somebody else. So, this rating question, I, I'm sure you'll give us honest answers, okay? <laughs> 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 On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate uh, your uh, guy three ma'am as a wife? Yeah, yeah. Definitely 10, yeah. Because uh, she gives me happy always. <laughs> yeah, she supports me in every thing. Okay. Wherever I go, whatever. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, even at the time of this thing. Okay. I, I am not responsible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As a mother. As a mother, she is hundred percent for my kids. Like okay. she is always there. And okay. We are always there, definitely for them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. As an entrepreneur, how would you rate her? Yeah, she is very enterprising. She has a lot of. Um, Vision. She works very hard for uh, our Bhima and this thing. And we have future. We have good vision also. I think she is always there with that vision. She's a hundred percent entrepreneur. Okay. okay. Thank you. <laughs> As successful people, what is your success mantra? Will you share it with us? Yeah, sure. Hard work. Yeah. yeah essential. Essentially, hard work and uh, smart work also. Smart work also <laughs> yeah. applies. I think you should go behind your dream. I think if you dream, then definitely don't keep on dreaming. I think you should go behind your dream and definitely yeah. success will come on your way. Don't, don't ever, I think uh, the youth should always remember that you shouldn't think that I, I can't do it, it's not up to me. No, everything, there is no, nothing like impossible. Mm -hmm. You can do it, mm -hmm. but you have to set your goal first and right. then go after it. Nothing is impossible. And uh, I think um, if you do good, then definitely your community, your people, all uh, yeah, everybody around you should be happy and I think even our nation will grow to that. So, How is it that you would set these goals? You know? Okay, see as a person, uh, for me when I grew up, I always wanted to get into the business. I didn't think I would um, reach up to Papa's uh, stature or level, but I, that didn't stop me. I said I'll do what I can and I had uh, uh, a way in front of me and I went after it without fear. Mm. So same way, if you're an artist or if you're uh, maybe a doctor, don't don't fear hard work. Nothing comes easy. Not, you cannot get anything within a day or within a year. Mm. And I don't think you should wait for results. You just do your bit, the result will follow. I think that's the only way. If you fear hard work, I don't think you can achieve uh, anything. I guess you've been very lucky because you have had a supportive uh, parent, someone yes. who's you know, led you, let you follow your dreams. Right. But what about a lot of people who don't, you know, who come from backgrounds where there is resistance to what they okay. want to do? Right. At the sound, uh, at the risk of sounding rebellious, I think uh, it is a uh, we are at a uh, we are at the crossroads now. India is, uh, you know, dynamically moving towards. Uh, we're going to be a superpower, and I don't think this is the time when you should hold back your dreams, anything is possible. So yeah, I think if you have a good good idea, I yeah, think a lot of people it. will support you. Now you have uh, venture capitalists, you have uh, or angel capitalists. Anybody can, if you have, you should have a good idea and if you should have a good uh, business plan. Nalla business plan, even banks without any collateral, they can support you, even uh, any venture capitalists. So that it way. is possible to yeah, achieve yeah. your dreams. The, the, the uh, first thing to do is, just have the courage to say, yes, I can do it. That is the first step. 
this then is what like I want. Said, yes. Yeah, this is what yeah even Bima yeah. also, we started within a small showroom. We started from silver actually. And if my grandfather had stayed back in Udupi, he was a... Um, I think he did pujas in the temple. If he did not have the courage to break free, I don't think there would be an empire today. Right, right. So, uh, once you achieve success, the world is going to be with you. It is that first step. First, uh, just have the courage, say I will do it. And then like you said, there are banks, ven venture capitalists. There are a whole lot of, uh, whole lot of industry waiting to support you. I think uh, it's possible. It's been a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you, uh, thank thank you, you. so much. This is with love okay. from... Thank you. Uh, thank, you. thank you. And uh, this is chocolates <laughs> for me. For you. Not for <laughs> <my head. laughs> Thank you. Thank you.